Uh, oh yes, we are live now, my friends. We are live. We are live, and I'm getting well, busy. I seen it in 20 years. I'm getting well, busy. You just found it. What's yeah. up, fellas? Oh yes, actually, I'm busy right now. That was a bad way to open <laughs> a lot because I get dizzy really quick. I really do. I really do get dizzy really quick. So, what's up, guys? Drop That's some comments. Get some good questions ready, and we're gonna do some fishing stories with pops today. Oh yes, this can be good stuff. And yes, we have some special guests in the room today. Yes, we do. We have Pops hanging out with us. We have Brandon. Look, Brandon's like a little, Brandon's just sticking over the little couch the there, truck, perfect. The truck driver. Yes, Brandon, Brandon <laughs> is the truck driver. That's a, that's we were doing problem. titles today on everybody's title, and, and Brandon is, I guess, truck driver now. So, and uh, we've got so another guest with us today as well. We have Mr. Dave. That's right, it's a guide's life. You've seen him out on Lake Okeechobee doing some fishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, every Tuesday, every Thursday around 6 o'clock. We're a little early today, guys. I apologize. But we're going to come to you live. We're going to hang out with you a little bit, answer a few fishing questions, let you know what's coming up on the channel, what we've dropped recently. So some cool things. So let's get to it. All right. We have Dad in the house. Now, Dad, you were here and you noticed something in the office. Yes. I'm sitting here talking. I'm talking to everybody about this. I look on the wall. And I see a site fifty a fifty year old eel. I believe it's it's like, I it's believe this it. mount. Is it? And it, I don't know where it came. I caught this forty seven years ago, <laughs> and I haven't seen the fish in I don't know how many years. And it's hanging up here on the wall. Oh yeah. It's like, where did this come from? <laughs> what, what, that was what, I remember catching a fish though. Now, 47 years ago, I made a long cast of Santee Cooper. It was like a 150-foot cast. I let out some more line, and all of a sudden, I had to strike. When I set the hook, this bass jumped out of the water. It was so far away. I said, oh, that's like a six-pounder. And I reeled it halfway in. It jumped again. I said, no, it's a lot bigger than that. It jumped. I said, it's like eight or nine pounds. And finally, I get it to the boat. It's 11 pounds. Five ounces, the first really, really big bass I ever caught. So anyway, I've caught some bass bigger since, but this was 47 years ago, son. That's a long time. Oh my time. goodness. Is that crazy, Dave? Yeah. Listen, it's like he 47 years ago. It's actually amazing. He, he caught the, the bass. The, the best part of this is Roland's talking, and he stops in mid-sentence, and he looks up and says, where did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> it's been on my wall. Actually, everybody in the lives in the last couple of weeks have seen the bass in it's the background. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, we have that. We also have it another bass. Story that's another bass right here. Fantastic. Another bass right here. You look look, look at this what one. What is that one? Look at this one, Dad. Hey, you tell me the story is? about this one. I can tell you here. a story about you gotta that one. Grab it because it's, okay. it's nine you're, pounds. You're, it's heavy. Your granddaddy. Your granddaddy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you very much, Transport. I, we're going to come to you. We were up on Okaloha, uh no Rodman Reservoir. Okay. Rodman Reservoir. It's Okaloha River. Yeah. Yes. St. John's. Paul wanted to catch a big bass. Which is my gra my grandfather yeah. is Paul Colbert, which which the he's oh. one of the original OGs. Hang on. Yeah. We gotta give Paul some credit here. Oh right, there you go. That's his jacket right there, guys. That's, That's his it. jacket. That's Paul's That's jacket. That's that is amazing. Paul's jacket. Anyway, he loved he loved this fishing, but anyway, we caught this fish on a big old shiner up on Rodman Reservoir. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, it was something else. I don't know what the date on that. Let's see, the date on that was uh I can't see it. Oh, oh 73. 73. 1973. Oh, that fish is older That's, than me. That yeah. is older than you. That is older than that me. Because I was born in 82. No, you were. Yeah. Hush. Hush. <laughs> I'm not sure Hush. that's true. Hush. Cool. Hush. That's right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back to Pops. We're going to come to you guys as well. Brandon, we got to show them some cool things. Here's something that we really got good going right now, guys, is, first of all, let's show them the AFCO promotion. So, here's the Don't turn it on yet. Here's what we've got going on. The guys at AFCO, which make bomb clothing, they make gaffs, they make gloves, they make all kind of cool stuff, has decided to run a promotion. You guys always ask, how can I come fish with you? How can I come fish with you? Here's how you can come fish with me down here in Florida, probably here on Lake Okeechobee, is by going to the AFCO website and literally signing up. They're a little deal, it's real simple. You sign up. And we're going to pick a winner. We're going to pick a winner to come and fish with me. So be sure to jump over to the AFCO website hey, hey, and find that. Look, oh, yeah, he's got AFCO on. I've been wearing it. It's all I ever wear. Yeah. I've, Bill Shedd, the head of mm -hmm. AFCO, started 30 years ago and said, Roland, I'll send you all the shorts. I'm, 30 years I've worn these AFCO shorts. Wow. 
right. Wow. Yeah, those those are those yeah, are the it. He's the original AFCO shortware. But if you want to have a chance to fish with me, guys, we're going to drop a link in this video to take you right to that page. And let me show you. It's a pretty cool little deal. Pretty cool little deal. Hit play on that. Pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is cool. Shake. <laughs> Enter into the link below to have a chance oh, yeah. to win. Link below. <laughs> it's always link below. All right, that's what you do, guys. You want to come hang out, fish with me. We're probably going to shoot an episode of some sort, and we'll probably film it. It'll be fun. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. What's up, Tyler's Real Fishing? Tyler's Real Fishing hanging out with us right now. So that's what we've got coming up. We have, uh, what did we drop the other day? What was our last video? Oh, Lake Monticello. You want to see some big bass? We did a show uh, at Lake Monticello in Texas. Yeah, we caught that? a big, they, they big bag big of Florida fish. Bass here. Oh, there's some big ones in there. Yeah. So we just dropped that on Monday. So if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to jump over and check that video out. And then we have uh, some other things coming this week. And then we have magic dropping. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about Africa video. Yes, Brandon, go ahead and cue it up, my friend. Just give him a little, give him a little prelude. Make that big screen though. We gotta have a big screen. Oh yes. Oh, that's big. Is that a propagator? No, that's a tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that in it. That's like fire! Fire! Alright, so that is. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, we're knocking. Oh, that man. Okay. That oh, that's only. That's probably nothing. That's, that's not good. We just did a boo boo. <laughs> It's listen. This could be a pretty good commercial for them. We just knocked. Because, you know what? The Mac off the table. You know what's awesome? Honest to God, you guys. Yeah. Nothing shot up. Well, no, I did lose one monitor. One plug came out. Oh, one plug came out. Yeah, that's just one plug. Did I just? And I just, just knocked about a eight thousand dollar computer off the desk. Yeah, let's hope it comes back on. It probably <laughs> will. So there's my boo boo for the day, guys. All right, so let's jump in <laughs> to a couple fishing questions for you guys. Drop them. Somebody dropped 25 bucks on the on the uh, super chat a minute ago. Oh, so awesome. thank you very much for doing that. If you've got any good questions for Dad, let's hear them now. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Dad. Yeah. They're gonna ask a few questions about some good fishing stuff. Okay. And uh, let's see. All right, here's one right now. Ed Munley. Ed Munley asks, <coughs> if you're gonna go down and fish in the Everglades. Yeah. What would you use right now? What would be a good lure to use down in the Everglades? Okay, we're talking just before Thanksgiving. Yes. This is this is big bass time. The biggest bass, one of the biggest bass I ever caught out of Okeechobee was just before Thanksgiving. So that just gives you an idea. This is big bass. One of the things that's hot right now, I love that new swim bait. The new Yamamoto. Hey, it's called a heart tail grub. But boy, I tell you what, it's four and a half inches long, but it's it's real wide and fat and a big tail. And I, I put it on a big old seven on hook with a little little weight on it, mm -hmm. and I throw it on sixty five pound braid with a big flipping stick, and I throw it in nasty stuff. I'm talking about big cattails, and I'm talking about lily pads, I'm talking about hyacinths, I'm talking about heavy cover. That's good. Put it in there, boy. Big old bass will bite. Big swim bait. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get some more fishing tips here. All right, all right. Let's see here. I'm reading through a few. Brandon, cue me up one, my friend. Cue me up one. A question? Yeah, cue me up a good question. All right. We I never, I never, we never review these questions, so never know what, what Brandon's gonna shoot, shoot at here. Um, all right. I found one for. Uh, all right. Here's a question from Washington Bass Fishing. What is the best fall transition bait? Fall transition bait would be a jerk bait. That's a good. A spinner bait. Yeah. Those are good fall transition baits. If you're up where the water's getting really cold right now, a jerk bait would be a good thing. It's a really it's, good choice. Suspending problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you know, here at Okeechobee, there's not that much transition. No. Right. Now in Michigan, where where would you come from? Michigan. Uh, Michigan, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now you have big transition big this time, time of year. Yep. Now that's turns. a whole different ballgame. Yeah, and that's and you're absolutely right. You're spot on. A, a jerk bait, real slow, off the edges of anything. The old idea is if you if you're fishing smallmouth waters, if you find an edge with a little bit of grass on it, you found bass. And big big jerk big jerk baits, bam, bam, get the mm -hmm. ones that will sit there a little bit, the suspending type, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Big smallmouth. The thing about the northern fish 
is they actually do put on a feed bag. They right. really do eat. Yeah, here, and they, and here they really, it kind of spreads out. We yep. get a long fall. Agreed, it just yeah. keeps going. Mm -hmm. It never ends. It's just it's a one. It, which is one of the greatest things about being here. Like, I couldn't believe that I get to fish year round. It's like it, when that epiphany hit me, I'm like, oh, other than just buying a license every year, I just get to keep fishing. <laughs> but you know what happens, Dave? About once or twice a year, say January the 15th, mm -hmm. a giant cold front will come through. It'll get all the way down to 60 degrees. Freezing cold. And the fish will quit biting for like a day. Won't catch them. Mm -hmm. But no, then no. it'll get up to 70 again or 80 and we're right. all right. I'm going to tell you something. I, I, it's, it's, it is, when it gets 50 degrees here, I don't care. You guys, I'm from Michigan, 20 below. It is freezing cold when it gets 50, 45, 50 degrees. You start running across this lake, it's the humidity in the air. Yeah, but, but the bass Chills don't the bite. No. The bass don't bite. I, I've, I've, been, know, I've, been, I've from, been making a living as a guide for three years fishing in the afternoon. You hit it right on the head earlier when you said, listen, people, don't, it, there's an afternoon bite that gets better. Here in Florida, the water gets below 60 degrees. You have a very, very hard time catching the fish. And where you're from in Michigan, it was one of the best times. Yes, sir. So Absolutely. 55 degrees was wonderful, but 55 yes, degrees on Okeechobee is not a good deal. No, sir. No, no, no. All right, Brandon. Somebody just asked to see here, what is my personal best large mouth? My personal best large mouth is 11 pounds, six ounces. Brandon, what's your personal best? Uh, five, six, five. Five, six, five. All right, Dad, what's your personal best big large mouth? <laughs> well, we, we, you know, we, we didn't always measure them right, but I think I had a 14 and a quarter oh in Mexico. Gosh. In Mexico. Oh, we really? weighed it as best we could. And then I caught another one one time here in Florida, and all we had was strings to get the length. You know, we oh, right. So you calculate. And gives it a girth, and that one came out to be 14 and a half, but I said, I think we measured it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's your personal my, best? My personal is 9.7. Nine I've seven. yet, I've been here four years, I've not personally caught a 10 pound fish All yet. right. Well, Dad, Dad wins the award with a 14 pounder. All right, Brandon, cue me up. What you got? What you got? Uh, By the way, guys, if you haven't jumped over to our Instagram page, be sure to do that. We're going to be looking at a few questions here. Uh, Tanner Imperial asks Have you ever fished with the 10XD? A 10XD, absolutely. I fish with a 10XD. Face emoji. Oh yeah, no, that's that's not funny. It's not real fun to throw because it's a gigantic crankbait the size of my hand, and it gets down to about 20 something foot of water. So it's a it's a bear to throw, but I have caught some really nice bass on a 10XD. So good stuff. Uh, what was your most memorable bass win? My most memorable bass win has to be. The Forest Wood Cup. That's my most memorable bass win. So I appreciate that, guys. All right. All right. So here's a good part of the video. We're going to leave it at that. And uh, by the way, guys, keep dropping your questions on our Instagram page and keep dropping your questions on our Facebook page. And I will try to go and answer some of those uh, over the next day or so. So if I didn't get your question, I'll try to definitely try to answer it on our Instagram. And, um, Obviously, we got some really cool stuff coming down the pipe. But here, I'm going to leave everybody with a really neat story, a funny story, okay? Here's the best part. It was an FLW Tour tournament about four years ago. Dad and I were doing very well in the tournament, and we had an opportunity to make the finals. And I was coming in that day, and Dad's flight was about 20 minutes later than mine. And I saw Dad fishing, and I said, hey, do you got him? And he said, yeah, I got him pretty good. I think I'm going to make the final cut. But I really need to catch one more fish. And I said, well, well, come on. I mean, you just don't need to be pushing your luck. You need to, we need to go. We need to hurry up and go. And he said, oh, just a couple more casts. And I said, well, I got to go. Just hurry up. I got to go. So I'm sitting there waiting on the dock for him to come in. I keep looking down the canal and I see him coming. I'm like, good. At least he, you know, he's going to make it in on time. time. And I notice something funny about his boat. Well, first I noticed that he doesn't have a trolling motor. And the second thing I notice is that he's soaking wet, along with his partner soaking wet. And I'm going, what is going on here? So I say to Dad, what happened? Well, okay, here's what happened. <laughs> well, I'm sitting there, and I'm in like, well, the first day I was in a third place. I was third place, and I dropped to like fifth or something. And you're in the top ten. We're, all, we're both going to make the cut for the next day. It's the third day coming up. Well, the problem is, when I went to pull the troll motor up, the rope broke. And I only had a minute to go, only a half a mile from the lock. Oh, my. And I couldn't get any, I didn't have any tools to undo <laughs> anything. I had to just You go. just went. You just went, didn't you? I had to go. It's like a $10,000, $20,000 deal. 
And I took it, and the trolling motor went. He oh. says to his partner, "Sit down, put your life vest and on, I just floored it and we got to go." Motor, I, didn't enjoy it. I didn't have no choice. And I, I mean, trolling motor's the down in the water. Like oh yards away. That and the trolling motor resistant. hit the water and just tore it off. The, the water's right flying off. up in I the air. To, I had to go. Of course you did. Yeah, I get it. Water's flying in the air. The troll motor's bending like this under the boat, and it finally just explodes off the bracket. Oh. Takes the entire troll motor into the lake, along with a depth finder, by the way, and sprayed water all over him. <laughs> and the best part of the I story it, was... I, yeah. made it, I made it on time, yes. and I made it and I made it of like $20,000. I, I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah. a big, big old You probably get another yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. So that's when you say, sit I know down I know and guy. hang on. Put on your vest. And I know a guy. S yeah. And you know sit down and hang on. All right. That's awesome. All right, guys. So that's a pretty good little story right there. Story, so, man. listen, we're going to leave you with that. I appreciate um, appreciate you guys joining us. We've got some cool stuff coming down the pipe. Be sure to check out Dad's channel. He's uh, we've got a new bunch of videos coming to his channel very very soon. Yes, a yes. whole different look, a whole different quality. Everything's coming down the pipe. Super good. Tons of fishing tips on Roland Martin Outdoors. So be sure to check it out. And hey, while you're surfing around, go check out. It's a guide's life. That's right. Did it break it? No, it's, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's just the cord. Oh, it's just pretty, the cord? Just, I'm pretty okay. sure it's just connected. So I think I tore up the computer. But anyways, yeah, thanks for okay. hanging out, guys. Brandon, what do you think? You're yeah, laughing at me. Try not to break computers. Right. <laughs> try not the to funny break part, computers. The funny part is we actually had a conversation. Is, he, is it safe here? Is this good here? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's yeah, that is that is a little bad. So, it was bad. It was bad. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks, man. We will holler at you soon. Yeah, Brandon, you know right. what to do, my friend. Yeah. You know what to do. Well, Subscribe, my house tonight. I'm a like, leave a comment. We'll read them later. And we'll see you next time. Out. Bam. Out.